What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB. We're here today with the review for Baddies ATL Season 1, Episode 9. The episode was titled, It's Time for the Torculator. How many more episodes are left for this show? That's all I need to know is how many more episodes are left. The show is not given for me. Sorry. You know, I'm, I watch it. It's like really, because some of the stuff just doesn't make sense to me. I think that's really what it is for me. Some of the stuff doesn't make sense for me. And then the stuff that I see on social media, like I know currently Natalie is into it. Natalie, Sarah, and Tanisha are into it. She released stuff about Natalie. <clears throat> she went and bought a, bag, a Fendi bag just to prove that the one that Natalie and Tanisha were given at the reunion was fake. She released... Um, audio footage of Natalie talking about Christina, talking about Seven, talking about Janelle. Are y'all amping this up for a season two? Like, I feel like that's what y'all are doing. But if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not subscribed to the channel already, then do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, you guys, and hit the notification bell, hit all the buttons. So stop taking me out on dates and not paying for it at the end of it. So with that being said, without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and just talk about baddies, okay? It might not be long at all. All right, you guys, so the episode, it pretty much opens, it opens up where we ended off last week. So remember, in last week's episode, Megan came over to the crib. She was talking, she was going to go meet, you know, talk to Tanisha and to Natalie, right? So it's her and Sydney. I thought Christina was with them, but it's just Megan and Sydney. So, you know, um... Sydney is just talking to them and she's just telling them, you know, like, how come, you know, why can't we all just be on the same page? Basically, you know, Megan is my friend. I want her here. I want her to celebrate my birthday with me. Honestly, I'm starting to think that the shit in this show is fake. I really do. The only thing that I don't think is like fake is the fact that Megan and Natalie have beef with each other because they've had beef with each other. But at the same time, Natalie and Megan have also been cool with each other. That's the other thing. And I talked about that last week, and I'll talk about it again, right? <clears throat> so Natalie says that, you know, she's cool. She's okay with being cordial with Megan. So then, you know, um, the thing that annoyed me with, Nat with Natalie and with Tanisha in this episode, especially Natalie when they were having this meeting with um, Sydney, right, and Megan, Natalie wanted to sit there and say that Sydney is the reason for all of the fights that they've had. They, you know, the fights that they've had. Sydney is the reason for it. I'm like, that is not the case. Like, that's not the case. Like, you want to blame her, but she's not the reason for the fights. It's <coughs> the only thing that y'all did to defend her was with the Judy situation when she took Judy's hair and and did what she did to Seven's bedroom, Seven's bathroom. That was it. Y'all have defended her with Judy when Judy, Natalie defended her with Judy when Judy spit on her. That was on Judy, not Sydney. And the fight with Ju with um, Christina and Natalie, that was you and Christina about makeup had nothing to do with Sydney. So I was kind of confused how she was sitting there saying that the fights that they've had was because of Sydney. No, ma'am. I might not like Sydney, but we're not going to put that on Sydney, right? Then what threw me for a loop was Tanisha. Tanisha talking about we just supposed to be hosts. I'm like, wait a minute. Host? Uh -huh. How are you a host, but you're a cast member? You in, the, you in the opening credits doing that whatever dance Tanisha was doing. And then you got Natalie doing that to her name. Like, did they tell her that there was going to be another girl to the side of her? They tell, I'm, like, I'm like, what did they tell her when she was in that green screen? Because she goes... Like it said, you're you're doing that to Natalie Nunn. You should have been like, or something like that. But you went. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not even talking about it anymore. So where are we at? So Megan says that you know she didn't come to the house to fight. I'm like, you sure? Because you sure look like it. Because you're dressed the same way you dressed on. BGC9, when you guys came back to the house for that photo shoot, that pink kitty set up. You look like, I mean, you, you look like it. You look like it. Okay, maybe she's not here to fight. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to believe now. I'm going to believe Megan at this point, right? So, like I said, Megan and Natalie at one point were cool because they did a booking here in Dallas and they went to um, a place here called Fuel City Taco. And my best friend actually sent me a, she took a screenshot and she sent me a, she sent me a text, she texted me, she's like, Natalie and Megan were in Dallas last night. I'm like, really? She was like, yes. Cause I was like, cause this was at the, this was at the point when they did not like each other. But I remember once Megan said that, you know, she'll do a booking with Natalie if the money is right. Like she's not going to miss a bag just because she don't fuck with Natalie. So after that, they became, they, they became cool. And I received, I remember it. Cause I actually follow Megan on, on Instagram. And I remember Natalie, like whenever Megan would post something, Natalie would be in her comment section and her, her comments and leave a nice comment. So Megan says that she and Natalie, she fell out with Natalie because Natalie didn't invite her to the baby shower, which I remember her baby shower because um, BGCT posted it. And I remember Rocky was there. I was like, Rocky? Now, from what I remember, I didn't, like I said, you guys, I did not watch season 13. I don't know anything about season 13, but I do know some of the fights. And I do know that, that, um, because that's how I watched the, um, behind the, the, the cat, the, um, episode revealing the cast. And I do remember that Rocky and Natalie fought, right? Actually, because in that sneak peek, they showed Rocky fighting Natalie. And isn't that the same fight that Red got involved in when Red bit Natalie's leg? Is that when she looked like um, Winnie the Pooh? Y'all let me know. Because if I'm, because the preview special, it's on my phone and I can look at it. But from what I think, what I think happened, didn't it start with Camila and Natalie? Didn't it start, because Camila and Natalie got into it in, in that house, didn't they? And then... I know that maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's maybe I'm I'm wrong. Cause now that I think about it, the previous special, Rocky's mom called the house, right? Rocky went to get the phone. And that's how the, I don't know the fight happened with that situation. Were they into it at that point? Like you guys can let me know in the comment section. Like I, again, like I don't know about Bad Girl 13. I don't know anything about that season didn't watch it so you guys can jog my memory well not jog you guys can let me know because like i said didn't watch it so i don't know what happened in that season that season just didn't look good to me and then from what i heard they cut filming early with season 13 and i know now the reunion i can tell you guys about the reunion actually no i cannot i can just tell you who was at the reunion because i didn't watch the reunion actually i can't i really can't tell you who was at the reunion I know Sarah was at the reunion. I know Camila was at the reunion. Jada, I think it was five. Was it five or six people that was at the reunion? Rima was there. Which how did Rima come? In, how did Rima even was Rima a replacement? Like let me know that one. Was Rima a replacement on season thirteen? And who did she replace? Because Red and Natalie both left the house. So why didn't they bring two girls? Why did they bring... Okay, I'm done. I, I've gone too far with that one. So, suffice it to say, Megan and Natalie were cool. How did I even talk about BGC 13? Oh, the fact that Rocky was at the baby shower. I was like, how did I get on that? How did I, I go off on that tangent about BGC 13? I digress. So Natalie says, you know what? Yes, I didn't invite you to the baby shower. The reason she says she didn't invite her to the baby shower, I'm like, Natalie, that is complete bullshit. Natalie says that Angel Brinks made her, her wedding dress. She did? You were one of them Angel Brinks dresses? Those dresses, are, sorry, they're ugly. You gotta be honest. Angel Brinks, talented woman, but her dresses are hideous to me. You can, I mean, you can tell her, you can tell her Angel Brinks dress. So I guess Angel was gonna design her, her baby shower outfit and vice versa, she was going to come to the baby shower. But I guess this was after Megan had did Basketball Wives and Angel still wasn't seeing it for Megan. But here's my thing, Natalie. If Megan was your quote-unquote friend and y'all talked on the phone, why would you let somebody else dictate to you? Why would you let someone dictate to you who you can invite to your baby shower? If that's my friend... But you have an issue with my friend and we friends, then you come to my baby shower. I'll keep you. I'll make sure that you two are, 
are not even close to each other. The fuck? Then t we talk about the issue she has with Tanisha. She says Tanisha is fake. She says she looked at Tanisha as like a big sister. You know, she would go to Tanisha for advice about business, about, you know, contracts, this and this and that. But then when she talked to Tanisha about their contracts, that was it. She didn't really say what happened with she and Tanisha with the contracts. I guess Tanisha must have said something about her. I don't know. It, it really, to me, honestly, seems contrived and it seems very fake. Like, it feels like they just created drama for this show at this point. Like, I, I don't understand any of it. But I'm going to move on. All right, you guys. So then we see all the girls and they go out for Sydney's birthday. They go to a club. Saucy Santana was there. Every girl got on the mic. Judy said, I got the voodoo for you bitches. They, Sydney is a fan. Sydney is a stan. Let's say, not say fan. She's a freaking stan. She, rec she, she recited what Tanisha said. I ain't getting no sleep because of y'all. Oh, I forget what Tanisha said when she was banging up pots and fans. I forget that her, what she said. Sydney knew about her. Then she said what, um, she said what, um, Christina said on season nine, do something, do something. I'm like, yes, yeah, Sydney, you a big, big stand of this show. I still don't get Sydney. Like you on love and hip hop. You fumbled that bag. Like you fumbled that bad because nobody really liked you on Love and Hip Hop. So now you're on this show. Like it's a downgrade. Like let's be real. It's a downgrade. Like I'm finally a bad girl. After 10 years, you shouldn't be embarrassed to say that. You really should be embarrassed about saying after 10 years that you're finally a bad girl. That is embarrassing, my love. Gotta be honest with you. So Megan didn't show up. But like I said, Tanisha and Judy showed up. Now they weren't going, Judy, T Tanisha wasn't going to show up originally. She was going to go back home. Surprise, Judy came. Must have been some money in there for Judy. Because that's the only reason I would have went, especially. But you know what? Like I said a few minutes ago, I think that, I think that the drama with these girls is fake. I just don't buy it. I literally don't buy the drama between any of these girls at this point. I think it's all set up for the cameras. Like you can't pay me money to believe that any of this shit is real at this point. Um, now what was that? She was hella disrespectful. She was talking about the fact that Sarah whines, which she does. I'm not gonna lie, Sarah whines, and then she sat there and called Janelle a knockoff Claremont twin. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So then they leave the club, and when she gets in the club, she says, "Megan James." You a fake ass bitch. Cause she didn't show up for her party. Okay. Um, yeah, I really believe that this is fake. Like you guys cannot pay me money to not believe that this bullshit is fake. So then the next morning they're outside playing basketball. Technically they weren't playing basketball. They were just technically they were just standing out on the basketball court. That's all they were doing. Now Seven checked Sydney about the fact that at the club, like Sydney, you sat there and called Janelle a knockoff Claremont twin. I should have put this on Do Not Disturb. She called her a knockoff Claremont twin. And Seven said something that I was like, finally, somebody said it. So Seven, number one, said that Janelle was on Bagos Club seasons before the Claremont twins. The Claremont twins were BGC 14. I do know that. I did not watch that season either, but I do know what season they came on. The Claremont Twins was on season 14. Janelle was on season 11. Janelle was there before them. And and, and Seven said, one more thing that I agree with. I'm like, yes. She said, she said Janelle was on before them when they had, when they, when their complexion was the same as Janelle's. I was like, finally, somebody said it. <laughs> People act, I mean, like, are we never going to talk about the fact that the Claremont Twins, on top of getting all that plastic surgery, they bleached their skins, like, because I was looking at some pictures of the Claremont twins. Actually, I was looking at pictures of them when they were on the Bad Girls Club when they would do their green screen images, their green screens. I don't know why they did so much work to their face. Beautiful girls. Like, that's the one thing I will give to the Claremont twins. They were beautiful young ladies. Now they're unrecognizable. Like, 
I don't know what happened to them. Um, so then they talk about the fact that so someone must have texted um, Megan, right? Actually, they mentioned this in the in the, in the um in the in the in that boardroom that someone texted uh, Megan these a screenshot of their group conversation. So now they're trying to get down to the bottom of who it was. They say it was Sydney, but Sydney says it's not her. And even they said Megan said it wasn't Sydney. So who could it have been? So you only got two. If it wasn't, so you got three people that are cool with Megan, that I, I that I know for a fact are cool with Megan. Janelle and Megan are very close, and Janelle and um not Janelle but Megan and um Christina are close, and then her and Sydney allegedly are close. So it could have been any one. It could have been any one of those three. I don't know who it was. Honestly, don't care. So then Sarah comes down. This was so weird. How in the hell did Sarah and Natalie get into it? Sarah was talking about the fact about Sydney last night in the van. And then out of nowhere, Natalie is bucking up at Sarah. And I'm like, huh? Make this shit make sense. It doesn't. Am I done with this episode? Almost. Let's move on and wrap this shit up. All right, you guys. Um, so... Natalie wants the girls to do a baddie booty boot camp, right? So they're gonna work out. I'm not being funny or shady when I when I say this, but there's only one girl in that group that was working out that has a a body that you know would be consistent with, you know, someone working out. She has abs. And that is seven. Now, Christina looks great. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Christina looks bad or anything. Christina looks good. Christina has a normal, you know, just a regular body. Nothing's wrong with that. But Sydney, I don't have an issue with Sydney's body. I don't have an issue with Natalie's body. It's the fact of Sarah. Sarah talking about, I'll work out, I'll work out, i work out. I got waist trainers for everyone. Sarah, you also have plastic surgery, baby. She's talking about, I don't have a liposuction. I didn't get liposuction. There's no liposuction scars here. You done something. It's the fat transfer, boo-boo. You got the fat taken from your stomach and put it in your ass. You got something done. Sarah's body is not natural. At this, It's not natural. I don't think it ever was natural, but it damn sure ain't natural now. Um... Yeah, it ain't it, it. And then you know, we all know Janelle has plastic. You know, has some work done. I'm not. I'm not shading the women, but it was just like really, this scene is fake. And then they were talking about you know Natalie told them before on a basketball court she has a trainer for them. So I look at the trainer. Sydney's like, is he fine? Child, Sydney was thirsty behind his trainer and when she said, oh, he fine, and the camera panned onto the man. I'm like. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess if that's what Sydney considers fine, who knows? But she was very, very thirsty. Thirsty as fuck. Because at one point, they kept telling him, take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. We want to see your body. And, you know, um, now Janelle, she's talking about she needs stuff stretched down. I'm like, Janelle, that is, as much as Sarah does annoy me, she was correct. That was a bit of sexual harassment. Because y'all were, y'all were really harassing that man. Telling him, you talking about you need stuff stretched out. Well, not my pussy. But at some point, I will need my pussy stretched out. <laughs> you, you don't know this man. And then Sydney, she, like I said, she showed him her titties. I was like, oh, my God. Like, y'all do realize this man is, okay. Just as well as women can be harassed, sexually harassed, men can too. I, that is one thing that Sarah and I do agree about. So they eventually get the man to take his shirt off. And I was like, oh my God, my body looks better than that. I was like, because they asked him, do you have a six pack, an eight pack? He says it's like six and a half. I'm like, where's this? Where's the, where's the other four? <clears throat> like, I didn't see even, I didn't see anything with a pack. I was like, okay, like I have abs. Now I could work out a little bit more, but yeah, I was just like, huh? It was just, and really for me, it was just the fact that Sydney was so thirsty. 
it was just really the fact that actually it wasn't even just Sydney, it was all the ladies. It was, well, it wasn't all the ladies. Natalie wasn't thirsting after him. Sarah, Sarah was over it because she felt like it was fake. You're, you knew it was fake. Y'all just had to get in front of that camera. So Sarah was not flirting with him, but Janelle and um, Sydney were, and it was just like, well, what the fuck? So then later in, on that evening, Tanisha comes over to the house and comes into the house like a hurricane. I'm like, Tanisha, you, every time you come over to the house, you come in there huffing and puffing. Like, damn, girl, stop. Like, that's why I feel like these girls are acting at this point, and it's terrible acting at that. So Tanisha comes over, the house is lit up, and Natalie wants them to do a twerk off as part of the, you remember, in the board meeting, they were supposed to have a talent show. Well, this is it. I was like, oh, I was with Tanisha, and I'm like, really? Okay, Natalie, I guess. So they do it. So they're twerking. Sydney goes first. Then we see Janelle. Then we see. Actually, it was Sydney. It was seven. It was Janelle. It was Christina. It was Natalie and Sarah. And when Sarah did it, that's when Sydney had this big issue with Sarah. I'm talking about, I didn't understand it. Sarah was dancing like it's a stripper pole. So she was doing what you would think a stripper would do. Her body looks like her body is just very weird looking. That's all I got to say. Um, but yeah, they got into it. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all into it about? Like, I don't understand it. It was stupid. But that's bad as ATL, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it. It was a mess. Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware when I drop anything else. Share the video. And until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask. Or not, which I want you guys to do. Be blessed, be safe, social distance, and I'll see you guys later.